Please welcome Sharon Ray. She is the executive director at Gulf Coast Humane Society. Sharon, tell me how have things been going at Gulf Coast Humane Society? Well, it's been going really well. People are adopting and that's really great. Uh, we have had to make a few um, exceptions and alterations to the way we do things. So we're a little more contactless. Uh, so you can do most of your adoption online. Wanting to come out and meet the baby, we can make arrangements that you can do that um, outside of our facility, except for with puppies and cats. Because mm -hmm. once they get outside, they're hard to wrangle. So, uh, but that's really what we're doing and everything is moving along and we are still having our clinics. Uh, we have one coming up this Saturday on the 29th from 9 to 11. And to kind of ease a lot of people's minds, we're doing that contactless as well. So Great. just to give you a little bit of a breakdown of how that happens, you're just going to come up in your car. We're going to give you a number based on how many animals you have in your car. And then you will pull through and we'll bring you through that queue little by little. And we have somebody who will take the animal from your car. If you have a cat, please bring it in a carrier. That's the best way. I'm not <laughs> in a laundry basket. Um, but we will be able to do everything for you right there. We'll put the animal back in your car and you're free to go. Okay, and this clinic is, we're stressing the importance of spaying and neutering your pet. So this is something yeah. is a pretty quick process or about how long does it take? Well, what you'll do is you'll come that day, we'll give you vaccinations and everything that you need in order to be you have your animal spay or neutered. Mm -hmm. And then what we will do with that very simply is just put you on our schedule, give you a day and a time to come back. Uh, simply, it takes about a full day. So you'll bring your, once you have your appointment scheduled, you're gonna bring your animal in in the morning and then pick them up at the end of the business day. Okay, perfect. So you're making this very doable for a lot of us at home. And this is whether it's your dog that you bought in Oklahoma or the pet that you adopted that was roaming around your neighborhood. It's just so important to have them spayed and neutered. Tell us, besides them multiplying and being homeless, what, what other reasons are there that it's so important for them to be spayed and neutered? Well, for males, they can smell a female in heat oh, far away, and they will go and go to all lengths to get there. So we get a lot of dogs that get loose simply because they're looking for the perfect mate. Mm -hmm. um, and also for females, it will prevent breast cancer in, in dogs to have them spay and neuter as well as cats. So if you do that, you're preventing and prolonging their life as well. So there's a lot of really good practical benefits uh, to having your animal spay and neuter. Wonderful. Well, we know the Gulf Coast Humane Society is a wonderful organization. You've always done your very best to help uh, limit the amount of strays that are run roaming around our roads. Now, tell us how the community, how we as community members can help your organization. How can we donate monetarily or what products can we deliver to you? Well, we can always take your old towels. Those are like number one. We can always use towels to help clean up uh, midday uh, spills. That way we're not using paper towels all the time. That's just mm -hmm. uh, not cost effective and it's not good for the environment. So your towels are the number one. We can always use leashes and collars for when an animal goes home. So many people will come and they'll adopt and they won't have a leash or, or a collar to get their animal out. Uh, the cats go out in a carrier from here um, mm -hmm. There are cardboard carriers, so if you have a real carrier that you're wanting to donate and you no longer need, we could use that as well. Um, that's the best way. If you want to uh, donate monetarily, you can do that online at gchscc.org. That's our website. You'll be able to um, do that. Make sure you get the CC or you'll get some like, someplace in Florida. So make mm -hmm. sure you get the Corpus Christi part in there. And it's a, it's a great opportunity. You can do that monthly. Make that as a monthly donation. You can make it a one-time donation. We've got it all set up. You can even plan your giving of your estate. We've got all that on there as well. Wow, well that is fantastic news. Something as simple as a towel. I didn't realize there was somewhere purposeful to, to donate that. So that's great to know and I'll be making a stop soon to do so. Now because of this contactless age that we're in, is that even something that we would have to schedule an appointment for? Do we leave it at the door? How do we organize it? You can it? come right in and drop it in at the door. One of the things, we are open for business. Everybody mm -hmm. who comes in must wear a mask. I'm just got mine off just because I'm doing Zoom right now. Sure. Uh, but and throughout the facility, all of my staff has on their masks everyone who comes in whether you are a volunteer whether you are an employee or just a guest coming in to look around at our animals we are taking temperatures and requiring that perfect well for anyone who's looking for a companion through the rest of this pandemic wave that we are riding together 
you have, have the resources available. It's so important. Adopt, don't shop. Visit Gulf Coast Humane Society for more information. Again, you can visit them online and sort of browse through the animals that are available. But most importantly, make sure you're spaying and neutering your pets. Sharon, if you don't mind giving us that information one more time for Saturday. It is from 9 to 11. It is the first 50 animals. So just know that people start getting here about 8 o'clock. So okay. if you want to make sure that you get in that line, uh, be here between 8 and 8.30. We're usually filled up by 11, by 9 o'clock. So as soon as we get to those 50 animals, give or take who's volunteering on the line. Sometimes we let a few more slip through. Uh, but that's about what it takes for our, our veterinarian to get through all of those animals. Okay, and before we go, who is our little furry friend and are they up for adoption? They are. This is Jack-Jack. He is a four-year-old domestic short hair. He is lucky, is gorgeous. He just wants to sit around your house. This is not one that's going to play toys with you. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, he's pretty well sat on my lap. Uh, hopefully people noticed him. I kept making up for him <laughs> blend in. But he is a great, he came in with his brother who is an orange cat named Simba. They've been here about a month and they're both looking for a great home and uh, would be a great addition. I think he's bird watching also, so. Awesome. Well, you know, just like Jack-Jack, you mentioned that he's sort of mellow. So anyone anticipating a pet, you know, dogs can be very energetic, some cats as well. But the cool thing about adopting when they're a few years into their lives already is that they've already established their personalities. So it's a little bit easier to determine what's going to be compatible with you. So again, we want to encourage you all to adopt, don't shop, support local, and head over to Gulf Coast Humane Society. And again, spay and neuter your pets. Thank you, Sharon, so much for your time.